Welcome home, everybody. That's right. Our latest feature in Evernote is home. And if you haven't had a chance to check it out, you absolutely need to. Now, a couple of days ago, um, a friend of ours here at Evernote, Brittany, produced a video, put out a video on the YouTube to walk you through home. And we have the pleasure of having her here today. So stick around. If you're an Evernote business user, we are going to highlight some things that I think you'll really like to see with home. But if you're not an Evernote business user, don't go anywhere. Please stay, 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 because I think you will still be inspired and have a lot to learn on how you can use feature. My name is Jennifer Majors, and I'm part of the customer success team. And we're so lucky to have Brittany here with us today because she's been so close to this project and bringing it to the team. So Brittany, thank you so much for being here with us. Brittany, again, I'm super excited because you have just been so close to this project, as we mentioned earlier. What was the inspiration of bringing home to the Evernote community? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so, um, you know, we've had this uh, information architecture for so long at Evernote. Uh, we're all very familiar with the panel on the left and how that is very like, you know, it's the way to navigate in Evernote. Uh, it, it is not editable or customizable. And, uh, you know, there's oftentimes a lot of scrolling if you're like me and have joined like 2000 spaces, <laughs> it takes a lot of scrolling uh, instead of searching to get to what you wanna get to. So, uh, you know, we really have this inspiration of home to just give you a feeling of when you open Evernote, it is, it is yours. It is the way awesome. that you have set it up and customized it. You know, when you first open Evernote for the first time, it, it lands you on all notes. And for me personally, it's a little overwhelming. It's a lot to see. And oh, yeah. if you're part of a business, all everybody else's notes are also kind of mixed up in there. And, uh, you know, we just really wanted to provide a visualization and ease of access to the information that you want the way you want it. We really wanted people to feel at home around their own stuff whenever they first open up Evernote. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Home has been such a home run, Brittany. I just want to share with you, I was talking to a customer this week and he has loved, loved the addition of home. He keeps sending me emails, all caps. I could feel the excitement. And I decided to ask him, I said, what is it that you love about home? Why is this, why do you feel like it's working so well for you? Like we know internally why we love it, but I wanted to hear it from him, like his words. So I went ahead, I'm gonna share my screen with you, Brittany. I put together a version of what he shared with me that he does. And I would love it if you could help me um, share back, you know, to everybody and to him, maybe some additional tips and tricks that we could be thinking about if we're a team, again, using Evernote Business, um, and how we can use this more. So what he has set up was this like pin note at the top that has sort of like the to-do list for the week, you know, the day, then you have the, you know, notes here. And he, he really liked that he could see his most recent notes, all that good stuff. The scratch pad, same thing with notes, shortcuts. Tell me more, like what else should we be looking at here? If we are in Evernote business, we're a team and we want to use home. Yeah. So, um, you know, brilliant idea for the, the checklist um, in the penned note. I do that too. I love that all my information is right here and I don't have to leave uh, to go check and see what I need to do next or like look at all of the myriads of pieces of paper all over my desk. I have a scratch pad right there for that now too. Um, I, I think that depending on your business, if you're like me, I've been joined to many, many spaces. <laughs> and so one caveat to the notes and notebooks recent filter is that that is anything that's been recently edited. That means your whole business. So sometimes these first four notes might not be anything that you ever did or wanted to look at at the moment. So yeah, um, that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I really like uh, the suggested filter. What's awesome about the suggested filter is it's powered by our powerful search uh, that we just released with this new update. Um, it is so smart. 
It looks uh, at anything that you have maybe used most frequently, any note that you access often, anything that you search for regularly, uh, your most used tags, uh, that type of thing to really power what we think you might be looking for. And for me, it's been really spot on. Uh, it's getting really smart at knowing, you know, when I need to access certain notes. So it's been really, really great uh, to, to be able to use that suggested filter. If you navigate away from home and come back, it actually will remember those filters as well. So it's fantastic. It's something, it's almost just like a little extra customization for yeah. you there to easily access that information. That's great. Um, another thing that I love about home is we've gotten some feedback on, you know, like, well, it feels like just a different way to navigate what's on the left side already. Well, um, you know, I really invested heavily in shortcuts so that I could quickly get to what I needed to faster before home. And so I love the shortcuts widget. Uh, and now with home and the shortcuts widget combined, I can actually collapse my sidebar uh, down there um, on the left side. Uh, navigation, there's collapse sidebar right there. And instantly you have so much more real estate available. To yes. You, you know? I literally was just going to say that. I was like, there is so much more real estate here. This is awesome. It's brilliant. And now I can just, you know, easily access it one click, you know, power of a note shortcut yes. done. Yes. Uh, so quick and easy to do. Uh, I, I think that it's it's been such a nice way to easily maximize the space that we have here. And then to just pop back over to home is just a simple click away. Yeah. Uh, this, my final this is awesome. Yeah. Little, final little tip for any businesses out there. Uh, if you haven't already, you should totally make a background image of your company logo and send that out. Ooh. to your, to your team. Uh, I, I love the idea of being able to, you know, have lots of different options for all of my different backgrounds based on how I feel, you know, right now it's a picture of me like kicking at my husband, <laughs> <laughs> feeling feisty, uh, but it. you know, you can totally share your brand loyalty and your company pride by, that. by working yeah. with your team. Um, there's a recommended size right here of uh, 2000 by 1280 pixels, um, mm -hmm. upload it as a, as a JPEG or PNG file, email it around to the rest of your company if they want to use it as well. It's so easy to just ma really make home feel like a home for your business as well. Yeah, it's just, um, I, I know people are going to really appreciate some of these little tips again uh, for their teams. This really does make it feel easy to use. And I, I'm kind of blown away. I never have really collapsed the navigation sidebar because I've always needed to navigate, but you're right with home and being able to collapse that. It just, it feels so, no, it's like everything is right there. It's so exciting. Seriously, Brittany, this is, been so helpful. I know so many people are going to really appreciate this. So the last question that I have for you today, for those that maybe are not using home right now, or feel like, well, it's a lot of customization, and I'm not quite ready to jump into that. I've got a lot of other stuff I'm working on. What motivation can you give us? What motivation can you share with everybody out there of why don't delay, start using home right now? You know, I, I've been working with the home team now for, you know, almost 15 months. And one thing that we did really early on was be very intentional, intentional about all of the widgets that we preloaded your home with. We really didn't want you to have to go out of your way to do a lot of work to instantly start to see the benefit of home. Uh, you know, there may be some people that don't use recently captured as much, or you don't have tags or shortcuts. And we've really tried to make those as quick as possible to just be a, a click away to customize. Uh, so, you know, we really, really worked hard to try to optimize your time uh, to really make sure that it doesn't take a lot of effort or a long time to customize home. But the preloaded layout with the long, uh, you know, notes, the penned note, the scratch pad right up top, all the things that we thought that would be really helpful to you right off the bat. We really tried to be thoughtful about where we put that. 
uh, and you know, as as you saw and, and you demonstrated, it, it's uh, it's so easy to just click suggested instead of recent. There's little tips and tricks like that that are so easy. If you haven't already been using shortcuts, you can shortcut anything. Stacks, notebooks, yeah. notes. You can shortcut a saved search. You can shortcut a tag. Um, a space. Yeah. There are all sorts of different things that you can shortcut to quickly navigate to. If those are all things that you do regularly in Evernote to really maximize that shortcut mm -hmm. widget for you. Uh, yeah, definitely. Those, I was going to say, those are the two things that I didn't, I've done recently is I added um, a space to my shortcuts, which I hadn't done before. And I really like that because the spaces list was getting a little bit long, but I do also like save search. That's like one of my favorite you know, things. So being able to have that in the shortcuts is, is awesome. It, is great. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's such a, such an easy way to access all of your information in much less clicks. You don't have to search yeah. every time. You don't even have to click in the search bar. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. And um, I just feel, I mean, it, it just, again, knowing sort of some of the things that you share, there's just a lot more to come. And so it's exciting to know that this is just the beginning. Oh yeah. I mean, we, you know, only had so much time to get this out and, and really wanted to make it impactful from day one. Uh, but I mean, we just are loaded with ideas. Customers are giving us so many awesome feature requests as well. Uh, we have a, a spreadsheet that is just it goes on and on forever of, of things that we could possibly do in the future with home and customizations and, and things that we uh, are so excited to start working on and, and bring that are specific to our Evernote business customers. So, you know, this is really just the beginning. This is, you know, the tip of the iceberg, any metaphor you want. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's just a whole new era of Evernote and yeah the possibilities are, are limitless at this point. So my biggest encouragement is to just get in there and start using it. And there will definitely be more to come. I love it. I love it. Well, you heard it here, folks. Do not delay. Get in there. Keep sending us your feature requests because there is more to come. Brittany, really, this has been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for spending some of your time, your day, you're awesome. Thank you for spending it with us today. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this, let us know how we're doing. And again, I can't say thank you enough, Brittany. Thanks for having me, Jennifer. And I really hope that everybody out there just really uh, enjoys home. Uh, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a home run, everybody. We've got all, all of the home sayings just for you. <laughs> Again, thank you. Until next time, we hope this has inspired you. We hope that you've really um, taken a lot from this. And thank you. Thank you.